Hello, I'm Mags Warrington and this is my garden and the dinosaurs who live there. In this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about growing giant sunflowers. The most important thing you need to um, start off with when you're wanting to grow giant sunflowers is to look at the variety that you're going to grow because there are dozens, maybe even hundreds of varieties of sunflower and you're looking for a variety that mentions the word titan or giant or mammoth in it because that will be an indicator that it's going to be quite a large sunflower or could be a large, very large sunflower once you've grown it. For the purposes of this video, I am going to grow a sunflower called Russian Giant, and that's it there. And Russian Giants can potentially grow to about three metres tall, so we'll see how tall I can get my Russian Giant to go. Uh, I have the seeds here, and I'm going to take you through the process of sowing the seeds and talk a little bit about what we'll do once we have a young sunflower, sunflower seedlings. Okay, so I have some ordinary multipurpose compost here and I'm going to fill up the pots that I want to start my sunflower seeds in. I've got these little plant pots. These are, are nine centimetre pots. That means they're nine centimetres across there. Uh, but you don't have to worry if you don't have a plant pot. If you've got any sort of container like this, about this size, maybe a yoghurt pot, for example, um, you can use that as long as you've got holes in the bottom and that lets any excess water drain out. So I'm going to grow, th uh, sow three of my uh, Russian giant sunflowers. So I'm just going to loosely fill each of the pots with compost. This is when you get your hands really dirty and lots of dirt under your fingernails. But you can wear gloves if you want. Okay, so there... So are quite loosely filled. Let me just move these into the middle. And if you want to firm them up a little bit, little trick is just to press one pot on top of the other and that just firms it down. Uh, and then I'm going to water this so that it's nice and damp. I'll water it again once I've sown the sunflowers, but this is quite dry compost. So I'm going to take my trusty watering can and just water the, these just a little bit uh, to get it a bit damp. Not too much, because I, as I say, I'm going to water it again. Right. And then I'm going to get my sunflower seeds. So I've opened the packet and you can probably see in there, I've got some stripy sunflower seeds. The sunflower seeds, depending on the variety, will look a little bit different. Sort of the same shape, but some might be more stripy than others and certainly the size will differ. These aren't the biggest of sunflower seeds I've seen. Um, I've seen some, uh, I think there's one called Mongolian Giant, where, where the seeds are really, really big, and that is likely an indicator of the size of, certainly the size of sunflower head that potentially you can get. But anyway, so here's my uh, Russian Giant sunflower seeds. I'm going to put one in each of these pots. Uh, I'm just going to make a hole, uh, and I'm going down probably to almost my, my knuckle. We want to plant these about an inch deep, and then I just drop a sunflower seed in and cover that over. So do the next one. And then do the final one. Now, of course, you can sow as many of these as you like, um, as long as you've got the space to grow them. And I'll talk about that just in a moment. But I'll put the these ones back in their little pouch for sowing another day. So... <clears throat> Compost in the pots, holes made, seeds in and covered over and I'm just going to give it another little water and what this second watering does is it just settles any compost around the seeds because of course I made a hole and I just want the compost to sort of fill in the hole like again where the sunflower seed is. Now if you, uh, it's, it, it's important if you're growing a variety of things to make sure you label your pots so that you know exactly what's in it. Um, and I'll label these just in a little while. 
But let's talk a bit more about what we're going to do with these now and um, going forward as they start growing. <clears throat> so just now uh, I've sown the seeds and I'm going to put these on a windowsill, a warm windowsill, preferably south facing, that gets a bit of sun and that heat will encourage the uh, the seed to sprout, to germinate and the little sunflowers to grow. I would expect anywhere between 7 and 14 days for you to start getting your seedlings appearing uh, while you've got these sitting on the, the window ledge. Very important that you um, keep the soil moist while you have the you know, you're growing these. In fact, all the way through water is a, you know, a key thing. But particularly when you're sprouting your sunflower seeds, don't let the pots go dry. Make sure you water them. If this is sitting on a, quite a bright sunny window ledge, these will dry out maybe even every day. So you need to be very, very careful. Don't soak it. Um, you don't want like, water pouring out of the bottom and you don't want this sitting in water necessarily, but you, you do want the, the compost to be moist. So there's four things you need to bear in mind while you're growing your sunflowers and they are food, water, space and support and I'll talk a bit about each of those. Uh, but let's think about what we do with our sunflowers once they have um, once they have germinated and we've got little sunflowers in our little pots. In the UK, in Scotland where we are at the moment in the west of Scotland, the, the, the last frost date which is the the approximate time that uh, it's likely that we could have an overnight frost, not necessarily that we will, but the last frost date is around about the second week in May. So um, I won't be thinking about bringing my sunflowers out uh, outside and leaving them outside until mid-May, maybe a little bit after mid-May. And uh, I'll talk in future videos about how you do that transition because there's a process called hardening off where you get um, plants used to being outside without just throwing them outside and leaving them there. Um, so we'll harden off the sunflowers so that they get used to being outside and uh, then we will let them grow on outside. So you then have to decide where you're going to grow your sunflower. Uh, and you want to put it in a, a sunny area in your garden or on your balcony if you're going to be growing it on a balcony. Um, and you want something, an area that gets six to eight hours sun, if we, indeed there is any sun. <laughs> um, and then you have to choose, are you going to grow it in a pot or grow it in the ground? And there's pros and cons for each of those. Um, and again, I'll talk about those in a future video. So, so positioning your sunflower is important, transitioning it out is important, but feeding and watering are the fundamentals. You must keep your sunflower uh, well watered and um, when we uh, transition the sunflower outside we'll talk about um, how we uh, feed it, but um, in summary we'll use a slow, slow release sort of granular feed and then weekly feeds of a liquid feed and that will encourage it to, to grow, uh, to grow up strong, to grow up tall and hopefully give us a giant sunflower. Because it's going to be a giant sunflower we need to think about support because as you start seeing it grow um, foot by foot, uh, the taller it gets, the more susceptible it gets to being blown over. Uh, and particularly if it's got a large head, uh, the sunflower's got a you know, large flower, that's really heavy. So that can actually make the sunflower uh, bow and struggle to stay upright. So um, we'll look in a future video at how to support your sunflower as well. I think for now though, um, I've covered enough. You know how to sow, you know where to put your seedlings and um, hopefully in 7 to 14 days you're going to have your own set of sunflower seedlings. Okay, well I hope you found that useful and uh, I hope you're going to try and grow your own giant sunflowers. I'm going to make a few other videos uh, to go along with this one to show you how I'm progressing with the growing of my Russian giants. So. Um, keep your eyes open for those. In fact, um, if you don't want to miss those, perhaps you might subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button or um, click the alert bell, which will alert you anytime I post other videos. But for now, I'll say bye bye.